A lot of questions I receive here on my YouTube channel is how can I become a database administrator? And I already published a few videos of those. I will link to one of them here. But in general, I want to talk about database administration and why you should potentially consider becoming an Oracle database administrator. So databases are really part of the foundation of a technology stack that companies have. Anything you do nowadays includes data and that data needs to sit somewhere. So it needs to sit in a database, data warehouse, Database technology in general is involved with anything related to what we do these days. And Oracle is one of those companies that uh, started decades ago and is still successful up to this day. Their database technology is market leading. They built a large ecosystem of companies and services surrounding the database technology that Oracle offers. So from that perspective, it's definitely a good choice to move into this ecosystem as an IT professional and become an Oracle database administrator. There are other benefits when you look at it from a database administrator perspective. So for one, it is a large ecosystem and that means there's always demand for good people in this area. Then Oracle databases are not cheap and that translates over into higher salaries almost across the entire ecosystem. So if you are a database administrator specializing in Oracle databases, there's a high chance that you can really ask for a very high salary. And I mean, of course, it depends on your skill set, your experience, but in general, compared to many other roles in information technology, there's a lot of money to be made working in the Oracle ecosystem. So that's a really big plus. Then I mentioned this kind of there's a lot of stability being a database administrator and being an Oracle database administrator in this larger ecosystem, yeah, it makes your IT career less volatile. So you're less impacted by potential layoffs. Data and the databases, data warehouses, anything really that drives a company, yeah, that's a foundational technology that they need to use and they need people to be able to manage this technology stack. So there is less of a risk of being laid off unless, of course, a company goes out of business or has dramatically downsizing uh, going on. So other than that, it's like there is a great opportunity for you to really keep your skill set current, but work with databases if you enjoy this type of work and have a very stable career that is well paying. Working in the Oracle ecosystem as a database administrator also offers the opportunity to become self-employed. You could be just, just a consultant and help companies uh, with their Oracle integrations and uh, rollouts. But you could also build up an own business and uh, have employees working for you in this uh, special field. If you look at the Oracle world and uh, you ask the question, well, what happens if I don't want to be an Oracle database administrator, but maybe I want to go into the Microsoft world? So a lot of these skills, the foundational skills, carry over into other areas of information technology, especially with databases. You could go and uh, follow the SQL path. You could go into the open source world. There are quite a few opportunities. Of course, there is knowledge and skill set related to each technology, but there's a certain foundational knowledge that carries over, which again provides a little job or career security from that perspective. To become an Oracle database administrator, there are some cons and the barrier of entry is high. This is not something where you pick up a book, make a certification and uh, then become an Oracle database administrator. So this is something where you need to be more strategic with your approach. So I want to say the easiest, and I put this in quotes, the easiest way to become an Oracle database administrator is when you start a college education and you go after a degree that includes a lot of database related work. This will be more generic, not necessarily Oracle, but it opens the path uh, to this technology or into the technology stack of other companies, let's say Microsoft as an example. So a college degree in this area, you're looking at roughly four years, uh, maybe a little less, maybe a little more. So that's really a high barrier of entry. You could also just get into IT and let's say you start somewhere as a junior systems administrator and start building up experience and really grow your career. A lot of companies actually offer tuition reimbursement and that could open the door for you to go to college while you work. You study at night, so there's effort involved. This is not an easy path to become a database administrator. And again, you need a certain number of years to build up experience. 
So that's really one of those cons. This is not an easy step into information technology. There's effort involved. And of course, you can also go down that path and just become an Oracle certified professional, do some of the Oracle certifications, and then just hope that you get into a role as an Oracle database administrator. But if this is your only skill set that you have with no experience, it will most likely not happen. So you have to be very strategic with your path to become an Oracle database administrator. Another path into the Oracle world without going the college path or to become certified is really to network, networking with people, building up connections. So as you grow into information technology and start really, let's say from the bottom up and you work your way into system administration, you will potentially work for companies that have a larger IT team and that have Oracle in their environment. I've worked in some of those companies and became really good friends with people that were the Oracle database administrators. And there was more than one opportunity for me to potentially make that move into the Oracle world and then start, I wanna say, at the bottom level from a database administrator perspective, but already having a good skill set and also domain knowledge about the company, their products, their services. So that would have been a fairly easy transition without having that college degree related to database administration, without being Oracle certified, and still make that leap into this area of information technology. So again, it's a strategic approach. If you work for a very small IT shop, your chances of getting exposure to Oracle or a different type of database technology are very slim, are very small. So you have to strategically go and look for the larger companies that potentially have Oracle in their environment and you can go through the, I want to say, the career openings for those companies over time. You will identify what technologies these companies use and then go down that path to potentially, there's, there's a role for me, I will apply for that role and then hopefully can uh, connect and make it known inside the company that I want to become an Oracle database administrator. So networking with people, it's a strategic step that you need to do, not just for Oracle. This is in general, you need to build up a network of people that you like, they like you. And as people spread out, go into different companies, go into different career paths, it opens up opportunity for yourself to potentially be considered for a different role just based on your connection with these people and that you hopefully build up a good reputation uh, with your skill set, with your experience and the quality of your work. So this is it from a very high level. If you want to become an Oracle database administrator, this is not something that will happen overnight. Very, very few people really have that skill set right off the bat to move into such a role. So for you, this means you have to plan for a couple years, be strategic in your approach, make the right steps in your career so that you can build up a skill set and experience towards that goal of becoming an Oracle database administrator. So I would like to hear from you in the comments, what have you done so far? And is this something that you're interested in to get into? So database administration itself, as mentioned before, is a very stable career in information technology. Again, granted that you keep your skill set up to date and not just stay at a lower level uh, from that perspective. So you always have to do work in information technology if you want to survive, keep your skill set up to date. For the database administration portion, really understand how data works, what the data is um, or what the data means for the company and how they are using data and then really look at the larger picture. It's like database, single server, data warehouse and so on. So everything grows in that perspective. It's also not just an on-prem environment anymore. You have to look at it from the cloud perspective too. So there's a larger skill set and uh, expertise that you need to build up to become really a subject matter expert and then really grow to that more senior level as a database administrator. And that's really where things get very interesting and your career could take unexpected paths to something that you never imagined possible. And uh, when you look back, it's like, oof, this was really a fantastic ride. So I hope you liked this video. I hope this video gives you some inspiration. Would like to hear from you in the comments as mentioned below. And then I would say, I see you next time in my next video. Thanks for watching. Have a great day. Bye-bye.